Chirp is the ultimate automation toolbox for home service businesses. Chirp helps you capture more leads, connect faster, close more deals, and create customers that will buy from you over and over again. Using text message, email, and ringless voicemail automation, with Chirp, you can maintain perfect follow-up throughout the entire customer journey. Learn more about how to transform your customer experience on chirp.com today. On Purpose Media is a digital marketing agency servicing the home services industry with a flair for HVAC businesses. The right combination of digital marketing makes all the difference. Take your business to the next level. Check out onpurposemedia.ca today. Welcome to Power Women of the Trades podcast. This show is all about breaking barriers and changing the game. Our guests will feature some of today's most successful female entrepreneurs and other advocates of our industry as well. Because if there's one thing we know for sure, female-led entrepreneurship drives change on multiple levels. We want to empower women in the trade industry like you so you can maximize your potential, stay balanced, achieve long-term success, and claim ownership over your life. Let's get started. It's Leslie here with Power Women of the Trades podcast at the AHR Expo in Atlanta. And we're so excited. We have Nicole Bass here, who is the president of Service Professionals and Join the Trades. So, Nicole, tell us a little about yourself. Yeah, I've worked in the trades for the past 10 years. And I have two companies. So we have two booths here side by side. The Service Professionals booth is really all about talent development for commercial HVAC service contractors. So we've been doing this for 15 years. We provide talent development for basically everybody in the company, executive leadership, service management, dispatchers, salespeople. And then we have a nationally or a federally approved apprenticeship program for HVAC technicians. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. And now out of that, all of our customers are dealing with the same problem that you guys are probably dealing with, with recruiting technicians into the trades. So out of that, we started a TikTok channel to try to educate. I know that sounds crazy. Love to hear about this. TikTok. Love to see it. Yeah. We love TikTok. I love TikTok. Speaking of social media, most businesses' online presence is boring. And by being boring, they're losing out on potential sales and customers. Being interesting and exciting is what draws customers in and gets them to buy from you. But it's hard to be interesting online when you're focused on running your business and taking care of your customers. It doesn't have to be this way. We have the key to unlocking the solution to your problem. Key Heart Marketing can help take your business from boring to brilliant on social media. We can vouch for them. They run our podcast socials. If you want to have a strong social media presence that allows customers to know, like, and trust you, connect with Key Heart Marketing keyheartmarketing.com. Such an authentic platform, but that's a different conversation. So we started the TikTok channel and tried to educate people on these trades careers because we do feel like there's just a lot of misinformation out there on what the earning potential is and and how easy it is to get in. And that TikTok channel blew up to 80,000. I say blew up for TikTok. 80,000 isn't that's necessarily, big. but it's that's pretty a good. Lot. Don't uh, downplay that. <laughs> We had 80,000 followers and we had all of these people saying, hey, I want to get started. Can you help me get started? And we were placing people left and right in these companies that we work with, but we couldn't, we can't keep up. And and we had a database of 300 plus people that I was trying to like make connections with and it's just not sustainable. So what we did was create jointhetrades.com where we do the same thing I've been doing on TikTok and educating on the different trades careers. And then if you're interested in getting started, then you can go search for your local employers who are hiring, which is everybody. Everybody, right. yeah. yes. And or you can search for your local schools if you want to go that route. Right. So it just makes the connections easier. They're very complimentary businesses. Yeah, yeah, I love that. I am a huge advocate of like the trades and getting people in there and changing that conversation, especially with young students. Yeah. Who, you know, for so long when we went to high school, we had to go to college. Yep. And for a four year degree. And that's just not the case anymore. No. And so that's exciting. So what service professionals you said has been around for 15 years. Yep. What initially brought you into the trades? How did you get to the trades? I started as a salesperson in the trades and I worked for one of the companies, one of the member companies of service professionals. So I would work for an HVAC contractor here in Atlanta, actually. Then I started as a sales rep and then I got promoted to sales manager and then I was vice president of that organization. And then that organization sold in 2019 and I went full-time service professionals, which I had been already training for them for a period of years. So it was just a very natural transition. 
my husband and I had moved to Washington, D.C., so I was vice president of the company here in Atlanta while living in D.C., and so the sale of this business, it worked out for us and me and my family. Of the percentage of people that want to join the trades that yeah. you guys promote, what would you say the female like, average is? That's a great question. There's a lot more interest than you would think there are. And a very common question I get is, which trades are good for females? And I just love getting to answer that question. In fact, on the website for jointhetrades.com, we made it one of the filters. So whenever you want to search for employers in your area, you can filter out by trades that are good for females. And whenever you hit that button, Rosie the Riveter pops up and it says all trades are good for females. It's more about what your preferences are, what your physical capabilities are. But beyond that, there's not a trade that's not for females. Yeah. There's so much capability for every single space, every trade. And so I love that. What do you think has been like the most surprising thing for you as a woman or helping women get into the trades? I think the most surprising thing for me is just the lack of information. I think people refer to it as a stigma about women being in trades. And definitely there's some of that still, but I think it's more based on misinformation than it is like a lack of welcoming into the trades. All the contractors I work with, if you ask any one of them, would you be willing to hire a woman as an HVAC technician? They would say, do you have one for me? Do you, can I interview? Where is she? Yes, absolutely. I'm willing to hire. But when you look at just my feed, my comments on my videos on TikTok, there's a whole lot of surprise, just shock and awe. Is it possible that what she's saying is a lie? And people are just like, it doesn't sound true that these opportunities are real. They are low or no debt. They are high earning and they're stable careers that are fit for men and women. Well, and I think what you're saying is, and at least culturally, the trades are a fallback. It's never their career path. Yeah. Right. And so, and I see that changing. I've seen it, it changing is. in our community. And I'd also like to say, I think the social media where we promote it and you do so well on TikTok, that changes it for the younger generation. And I say it a lot on my videos as well is that for a long time, there were only two considered successful career paths out of high school. It was either college or the military. If you did either one of those, people were like, good for you. Way to go. And there's a whole third route that is a very, very successful path. And, you know, you've got these 22-year-olds who are finishing their apprenticeship and making $120,000 a year. And they're and 22. No, and no student loan debt. And no debt. No debt. So they're way ahead of the curve when it comes to that. They're buying their first house at 22 years old. And somehow it's like, well, that's a fallback. How's that a fallback? Right. That's an excellent career right. choice. And right. I yeah. think that that goes back to the people, yeah. not just for high school students, but for, for women. women. And showing, like, we, in our personal company, I have three women that are in the field. Mm -hmm. And there were times that I thought, do I need to do something extra to protect them going into homes or whatever. And the answer is really no. Like, mm -hmm. they, everything's fine, you know. Yes, there's safety precautions that we take for all of our employees. Sure. But there are absolutely amazing careers for women is... and men. And you can start that right out of high school. Absolutely. In our world, the controls technicians, the automation right. and controls technicians, they will tell you that females make the best automation and controls technicians because the attention to detail That's right. is just as a stereotype. But stereotypes exist for a reason. The attention to detail is far greater. So if that's a career that you want to pursue... Oh, man, I could put my you in contact with a lot. My husband and I actually toured an air conditioning factory. Oh, fun. And when the product was coming down the line, we noticed that primarily women were brazing on the unit. Oh, yeah. And they said that women most often have a steadier hand. Yeah. And there's just things that are like, who would have thought that until someone gave that woman that opportunity? Yeah, so. absolutely. Well, and I can just tell you on the business and operational side of what I work on, I almost always prefer to work with my female vendors because... It just gets done. It gets done quick. They're so driven. This podcast, for example, all of the management and leadership is female, and mm -hmm. it, it can happen so quickly. Being a power woman of the trades requires powerful business branding. With KickCharge Creative, you can make sure your home service business is branded, not blanded. The proof is in our podcast logo. They created it. Now more than ever, having consistent branding that sends a clear message is essential to helping you stand out. To get started on carving out your company's unique identity, contact the KickCharge Creatives branding experts online at kickcharge.com or call 908-835-9000 today. I think going back to when we were putting Join the Trades together, one of the stats that we found that was surprising was that 40% of high schoolers, they did a survey of thousands of high schoolers, only 40% understood that a trades career 
would ever pay more than fifty thousand right. dollars a year. And honestly, it needs to be talked about before the high school level. It needs yeah, to be talked about on the elementary level, yep. junior high, and that comes from the parents, right? It comes yep. from the home. But I think I know my generation. My parents, it was go to college, go to college. You know, there's just been a shift in that mindset. Well, I mean, have you seen the TikTok where it says to my English teacher that told me if I didn't figure this out, I was going to grow up and be a plumber. Yeah. And then he's like, you know, middle fingers. Yeah, yeah. I did. And it's working really well right. for me. It's and raining dollars. But that's the thing. We have to help initiate that change yeah. and then continue to show because, I mean, the people that work for us and the people that work for Leslie are making very good money. And most of them do not have any college experience. I hate to be the statistic person on this podcast. Through the pandemic, the number of college or high schoolers who are interested in a four-year degree has dropped from 71% down to 48%. So when you say it is changing, like now is the time to try to capture these people. But look what the pandemic did for us. We were deemed essential. Right. I know. We grew. And I think it just goes to show it kind of brings honor back because we were one of the few that were deemed essential during that time. That's how important it is to have sanitation and mm-hmm. clean water and waste going from your home. And, you know, that can be sexy. We want to bring the sexy back to that because it's mm-hmm. what this country was built on, you know. Absolutely. Absolutely. Do you think there's anything else, you know, for anyone listening that they should know about service professionals? Or how to contact you. Or how to contact yeah. you, for sure. Yeah, yeah. You can find me on LinkedIn. My name is Nicole Bass. And you can also reach out to us through our websites. So the Service Professionals website is sp-hvac.com. And then the Join the Trades website is jointhetrades.com. The only other thing I think I would say is explore your options before you go into debt. And maybe college still is. After you explore your options, maybe college is the right route for you. And if so, then go into it with the confidence, knowing that at least you did your research before you made that big decision. Yeah, I Um, always say your options. Yeah, know your options. We still need doctors and lawyers and all of those things. But that also doesn't mean it's for everybody. And um, There's more than one path to success. Amen. Yes, for sure. Amen. Well, we are so excited that we got to meet you, and thank you for being our, our very first, first official episode. I don't know when this one will launch, but you are truly our very first. So our very we're first so interview, yeah. for sure. So we're super, super excited and thankful that you let us come here. Guys, I'm honored to be on. I saw you guys on TikTok. I'm super excited to work with you, and I wish you the best of luck. I think this will be great. Awesome. Thank you, Nicole. 85% of home service business owners like you are struggling to find the right talent. As your business grows and you look for ways to scale, you are constantly looking for new talent. However, finding the right person to fill a position can be difficult and expensive. Most people turn to job boards or recruitment agencies when looking to hire in the trades. But these methods can be costly and time consuming. The solution? Working with Yellowstone Local. They offer employer branding, recruiting, and hiring solutions that are specifically tailored for home service companies and the trades. Their services are affordable and will help you reduce the amount of time it takes to find and hire a new employee. Save your time, reduce your turnover, and increase your sales. Check out yellowstonelocal.com to get started. This has been Power Women of the Trades. Like what you hear so far? Leave us a review at Apple and make sure to listen to our other episodes wherever you enjoy listening to your podcasts. Thanks for listening and we'll catch you on the next one.